Anyway, I'm waffling now. Let's get over to this job and see A, what progress it may be, what we're going to get on with. They're basically having one ear. It's a very, 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 very expensive run for shower. As always, the eBay special tile bits. Vilroy box stuff. It's not cheap sort of fittings. Personalised, hand signed off certificate to say it's okay. And um, there should be the cutout here for the brush button and that, but for some reason either the plaster has boarded it and the tile has just tiled it, or what, either way, it's uh, it's no longer there. But their eye fucked up, the tile has fucked up, the board has fucked up, one of us has. I'll hold my hands up, it may have been me. Well, it probably was me, because I never fitted it. you've all had a good week so far uh, thanks for the comments on the last video on the final sort of stage of the house renovation uh, really appreciate all the comments and the new subscribers and the likes so if you're new to the channel thanks for subscribing if you haven't subscribed already to the channel get subscribed um, there's plenty more of those sort of videos to come now today I'm going over to carry on with the job that I've back literally been on the back burner um, if, if some of you might remember, I'll put in the link up here to the video I did with the hands grower shower, like a, I don't know, I think it's a thousand pounds worth of shower unit that I just had to sink in the wall. We're back onto that job. Um, so I'm going over there today. It's been at a sort of a standstill for a while. So I'm going over there to see what's been doing. As far as I know, it's been tiled, so it's ready for sort of plumbing second fixing as much as what I'm doing, because an energy company came out and did the ground source, air source, pumps and all that sort of stuff. So we, we'll go over there today. And also, on my YouTube community and on Instagram, I've been approached by a company that do paid promotions for, for obviously for YouTube channels and YouTube creators and that. Um, and I don't know whether to accept the, the offer I've had. I, I don't want to sell the channel out. I'm never going to sell the channel out. It's always going to stay exactly how it is. The, the company is not tool related. It's something, it's basically like for web create, for YouTube creators, it's editing, photography, online community support and that sort of stuff. So it's a 45 to 90 second ad. At the start of, it says four to 10 videos, the, the, the deal they want to do. Um, to the start of that 45 to 90 seconds that you can skip through, it's not a thing. Now a lot of people on Instagram and um, the YouTube community have said, Mark, you put all the hard work in, do it, you know, if it's something that you believe in. I don't know if I believe in it yet, because I've never used it. However, um, just reading into it, it probably something, it probably it probably is something that I would look at. I've spoke to another plumber that does YouTube channels, and he's used this software, this company before, um, and, and gain some stuff from it. So it is relevant. It's not relevant tool wise or anything like that But it is relevant that way. So let me know what you think drop a comment in the boxes below Just let me know what you think you can always say you can always skip through it this time the other. Anyway, I'm waffling now. Let's get over to this job and see a what progress we made B, what we're going to get on with So here we are back at this job some of you probably remember it to the new subscribers um, click back to one of the older videos that I've linked up in the description to it. It's basically, it's got a, it's like a gym, come kitchen, come office area, um, built at the bottom of this guy's garden. So I'll take you in now and show you exactly what, um, what they've got planned in there. And it is definitely, it is definitely otter in here than it is outside. Uh, right, so basically these units, got a, Real smart looking basin unit that's going. Basin's in there, big full full length glass basin. They're basically having one here. Shower is in here, which is this is the the very 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 expensive Grunfoss shower and mixer head that's going to come out there. Uh, yes, yeah, so they're having a, a basin out here. 
toilet there, basin here. We've had to tweak the pipe work a little bit, but the back of the unit will cover that. Um, so I'm just about to get that fitted on, really. But it's a big old, a big old sort of kitchen gym area here. Uh, big, huge bifold doors, and then back out to the house out there. As always, the eBay special tile bits. Um, I've mentioned them before in one of my other videos. I think you get like ten of these and ten of the other sort of diamond diamond tip ones. Um, so ten of these are like six quid. I put a link again. I put a link in the description below um, below the video. But ten of these six quid. Whereas usually you pay it's probably about eight quid for one of them in the merchants or screw fix or whatever. So yeah, eBay specials and they last just as long anyway. Right, that's that basin unit in. The nice drawer on the front, and it's bolted in at the back here and here. So what we've got to go on here is, I'll move that out of the way. What we've got to do is a fully glass formed um, actual basin formed into the to the top that's got to sit on there. So we're going off for that into position now. Just double check this is all put on right. Um, and then we'll go and get that into position, have a clean up and get the taps in. So these basins are completely glass formed basins so I want to be proper dead careful with these because uh, trust me when I say they're not cheap. Um, right so the taps they've got are basically these ones that sit like that with the main tap body goes in the middle obviously there. So what you want to do with these is lay everything out to start with, lay it all out because you've got to get the heights of these two tap heads at the same distance off the actual rim of the glass um, so they aesthetically look perfect so I'm going to take a little bit of time now just to get all my head around all of this because um, every, everyone is different and I want these to be spot on because they're going to be quite a big focal point in here so we'll have a look at it and see uh, see what's best and as I'm sure a lot of you know the Vilroy box stuff is not cheap sort of fittings so I want it to be spot on when we do these. You know you fit in some decent sanitary wear when each little bit comes with a personalised hand signed off certificate to say it's okay. Right, so that's in position. The base and form tops on, the taps are on, the heads on and that. So we've just got to connect underneath, connect the waist. Well, I'm here tomorrow so I'll make a list of the bits I need for there. So we'll start on the uh, toilet now. Right, so we're onto these toilets now. It's a floating pan, and there should be the cutout here for the flush button and that, but for some reason, either the plaster has boarded it and the toilet has just tiled it, or what, either way, it's, uh, it's no longer there. So what we're gonna have to do is trim part of this out, work out exactly where He's got to go and somehow, somehow get that in. It's just a bit of a pain in the ass, really. And they've done that to every single toilet. So we'll see what we're going to do with it. So it turns out, I told you this channel's all warts and all. Whether I fucked up, the toilet's fucked up, the board is fucked up. One of us has, probably me to be fair. Um, I'll show you. So all these toilets are meant to have the push button in. But when I've, put, when I've mounted the frames, I've got the cisterns on, I must have forgot to put that actual bit into it, for fuck's sake. So I've just done the other two, but basically what we've got to do is remove these two tiles, pop these two tiles off, cut the, cut the clamp in, or the, the, the sort of shroud thing in, and then, uh, and then we can retile around it and get it connected up. Luckily, Terry the Tyler's, ironically, Terry the Tyler, he's uh, managing to pop in tomorrow to do it. So I'll have my hands up if it was me, but uh, we'll get these cut out now and I'll show you exactly how, how we're going to do it. So what I've got is my uh, tile bit, tile disc cutter. I'm going to cut the grout line out just to see if we can save it and then leave these two tiles off just to see if we can save them. Managed to save one of them down the bottom, um, but we'll give it a go.
now the dust settled a little bit. Cut out the grout line, so what I'm gonna do is get my bar in the top in here and see if we can get these tiles off without busting them. Uh, just before the fucking tile army starts, I never told it. Tile army always like to uh, have an opinion. Right, so I'm gonna to have to reboard that. Right, it is what it is. We'll just cut this out, reboard that tomorrow, and uh, ready for them tiles to go back on. At least I got the tiles off in one bit. So we'll stack, stick a bit more moisture board on there, and uh, we'll do that tomorrow. Not a problem. Yeah, now it's just a case of clipping this on. We can do it. There we go literally and just screw four screws in there it's probably my fault completely I probably had a million and one things going on in my mind maybe probably thinking about that other job but anyway it's on now we'll screw it into place get it reboarded get it retiled so there we go that is what happens on jobs sometimes things get forgotten i i'll hold my hands up it may have been me well probably was me because i never fitted it um but Pop the tiles off, reboard it, get the tiles sorted, and it's just one of them things. It's how you get over these things. Some people will show you these things, some people won't. I will. So we'll get this all sorted, get it screwed on, and boarded and ready to retile tomorrow. Right, so now we've got the bigger, bigger basin unit. It's like a, well, it's not even a basin unit, it's like a bath, a wall and bath, um, to go into this main sort of foyer bit. So you're gonna have the the main unit here with the big glass basin on top is basically a bigger version than the one I hung earlier. I think it's having two units either side. So I've marked up the walls, marked the brackets. So we'll get them drilled out and then get Scott the gaffer who's out there playing around on the digger to, uh, to give us a lift up with this. Hot in it. Hot in it. Hot in it. Too hot to be working. Scott's gonna let us go early today because it's hot. <laughs> Here we go, eBay specials, six quid for 10. Right, so that's that unit on. That unit weighs a ton. Um, so we've got that on, bolted into these tiles. Behind here is a big wooden frame, so we've got that bolted into the frame. Um, so we'll have a tidy up now and uh, get that basin unit back onto the top of the taps and setting it. What a day of absolutely sweating my bollocks off today. Look, as you can see on my t-shirt, all the salt has come out. Where I've been working inside that, that building, it's, it's basically a um, an outdoor, and it's outdoor gym come office area, come kitchen it, but it's made like a wood frame and it's insulated within an inch of its life. And honestly, it was hotter inside there than it was outside, uh, so, Tomorrow, I'm going to be taking a load of different changes of clothes, a big fan out of the house, and some water I'm going to put in the freezer tonight to freeze, so it's uh, mounting all day tomorrow at work, because I ain't going to put up with that again. Just thought I'd let you know while I'm on my way home, sat in traffic. Fucking hell. Literally, and I've been wiping sweat off my face, and it's gone all red raw. See, look, I told you. Frozen squash, water, kept in the cool van. Yeah, come prepared today. Frozen water, loads of orange. Oh, it's 
but it's still fucking red hot. It's like 24 degrees, I think it's about quarter to eight, 24 degrees. Still, could be in worse places. Quite nice here. Day two, we bought another fan in, just because it's so bleeding hot. Uh, right, so we've got the bigger basin now. Bigger basin to go in, I've just made the taps into it. Same as the other one, but it's going over there on that one. So, just made that up, we'll get that offered in place. Got the chip here today as well, doing the oak stairs. Right, that's that basin in. Um, in, connected up underneath, we're just waiting for the click waste to arrive. Apparently they supplied the wrong one, so got to wait for that one to come out and that one to come out. I'm just going to connect this one up now, hot and cold, connect, connected underneath, and then we can sort of get that one done and dusted. And then what I'm going to do as well is clear this room out and get started on this massive shower um, and, the, and the head. So we'll see how we get on with that. Right, thanks for watching as always. Um, I've just took some shower around the corner of this job in the shade because it's absolutely boiling. It's about 32 degrees, I think. Anyway, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed to the channel and I'll see you lot again as per usual at six o'clock on Sunday. Later.